Hello there my RPG lovers and welcome to another video. Despite the mixed reception and debatable quality of the game in general, Two Worlds 2 had a unique magic system that was unfortunately overlooked by a lot of players. Even the people who really enjoyed this game could easily miss all the things that this magic system had to offer. One of the reasons is probably because it wasn't so accessible from the beginning of the game and I guess that was the main problem. The game simply gave you these options and said good luck, hope you figure it out. I'm going to try and explain why I honestly think that Two Worlds 2 had the best magic system out of all action RPGs I played. And as always, before we continue, consider subscribing for more RPG content and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I never expected to find such a deep and enjoyable magic system in Two Worlds 2 and I honestly didn't expect much from this sequel. It was definitely a major improvement over the first game, but that's not saying much. Uh, some people came to Cormoran when you left. They asked for you. People. People. In almost all fields this game felt painfully mediocre. It's not a bad RPG, not at all actually, I would rather say that it's kinda underrated and it's definitely worth checking out at least for one playthrough. But let's focus on what really matters here. Creating magic spells in Two Worlds 2 is almost completely done by the player. All you need are the cards, magic amulet and the will to experiment. Oh yeah, and gold. Lots of gold actually, which is one of the reasons why it was a bit discouraging to try and play as a mage. Anyway, the game had 5 schools of magic. Air, fire, water, earth and necromancy. Each element has 3 effect cards associated with it. Effect cards can be considered as a base for your spells. The slot to the right is for the carrier cards. These cards will affect the nature of the spell. For example, missile carrier will create a projectile of the effect card that is paired with. These other card slots are reserved for modifiers. Before all of this becomes confusing, let's see how we can make a simple damaging spell. We'll choose fire effect card as a base and that won't do anything by itself until we define the carrier for our fire spell. For this example we'll go with the missile. This will create a fire missile but it won't do any damage. The spell description says that it will only blind opponents with light. If we want to add damage to this spell we need to add that modifier. When we add that card to the mix we can see how the effect changes to fire damage. Carrier stays the same, but you'll see the fire damage added to description as well. Congratulations, we have the most basic fireballs. If we want to improve the damage of this simple spell, that can be done by stacking the same effect cards. Fire damage will increase, but of course you'll need to have more of the same cards in your inventory. Increasing the damage of the spells will also increase the mana usage. You can also stack carrier cards, and if we do so with this missile, it will increase the velocity of the spell. If we cast it now, it's more faster and deadlier. <laughs> That's rich. We can add more modifiers like homing, which is basically just a lock-on, and even more modifiers like ricochet, which will cause the projectile to ricochet upon impact. This modifier is stackable as well, so if you add more of these cards, the number of times it bounces will increase. And the last modifier that we can add to our firebolt is spray. It will cause the missile to split into 3 projectiles, well 7 in this case because I stacked 5 of these cards just for fun. And that looks something like this. <laughs> we started with a simple fire projectile but we made a light show. This is still just a simple spell, if you noticed we have more room for improvement. This is identical to the first section of the spell, but we're free to experiment. To keep it simple, we'll go with the same fire effect card again, but this time for the carrier card, we'll choose the area effect. And if you notice the description, it would be the same as our projectile before we added the damage modifier. Just blinding light, but this time it will be an AoE effect. Let's add damaging modifier here as well. This will cast an AoE fire explosion when one of the missiles hit the target. But another modifier became usable with this combo and that's the time modifier. We can add time cards to increase the duration of this AoE fire effect and this is also stackable as well as you can see. And now if we cast the spell... But there's even more, if we add the last modifier called protection, our AoE effect will turn into a fire reflect spell upon impact. We can keep everything the same and only change the second effect card to some other element and it will still mix nicely with our fireballs. 
But what if we keep everything the same and maybe change the AoE carrier cards? If we put a summoning carrier card for example with a couple of time modifiers we can summon some fire creatures. And since we have the spray modifier on our firebolt, every time one of those bolts hits something, this creature will be summoned. I really hope you're starting to get the potential of this magic system. It's an ultimate playground. You probably noticed the third slot in the spell amulet and yes we can use that as well with certain spell combinations. Now when you have some idea how this system works, I'm gonna show you some interesting spells that you can create. We didn't even mention that there are some crazy effects that you can achieve by combining multiple spells. There's no possible way that I can show you all the combinations in this video, I just want to show you the potential of this system and why I think it's the best way of doing magic in RPGs. You create every spell by yourself and it feels really rewarding when you manage to come up with something interesting. I would really want to see some similar magic system implemented in newer RPGs with higher budget. At least I hope that we'll see this system in 2 worlds 3, but that game is far from being finished. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up. Tell me what magic system you like the most in RPGs in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more RPG content, I do in-depth guides, news and reviews. Special thanks to my patrons and YouTube exclusive members and if maybe you want to join them, all the links are in the description. See ya in the next one.